Okay, we're gonna talk about distance to target and we're gonna solve this the best way that I know how. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up right beside these boat docks. And I found the, the uh, crappy, I know they're there, uh, without a doubt. Um, I'm gonna stay about 10 feet off the dock. I'm gonna go parallel and they're gonna pop up right here in a minute. I'll, I'll show you, sorry for the glare. Doing the best I can, I'm fighting glare, I'm fighting wind. I'm gonna come in, there's that one slip, and there's the fish right there, boom. I'm gonna put on the leading edge or about the massive part of that fish, 43, 43 feet to, to my left. And I am, my depth is 25 feet. So are they 43 feet or are they, are they 18 feet? That's the question. Where are those fish? We're about to find out that answer right now. 43 feet, 18 feet. Okay, there's the massive school. That school on active target, the middle bulk of the school is in between 40 and 50 feet from where I am, right here, if you understand active target. But this is going, do I subtract the depth? I had a lot of people in the same school of fish, and these fish, you can watch them. I'm gonna just stay here on them just for just a few minutes while I talk about this. These school, this school of fish, um, but 40 feet, that's where, now, now you can see right here, looks like that may be a fish um, messing around there. There's a few in front of the school, but the bulk of the school is, and I'm actually a little, I'm starting to blow in. I'm, I'm, I'm right about exactly where I was. I'm very close. If anything, I'm a little closer than where I was when I came down with my side scan. But you can see the school of fish. You can also see the anchor cable coming off the boat dock. And then there's another one that's highlighting and hitting here. So there they are. They're, they're a good ways. They're, a, they're up underneath that dock. If you're really good at pitching, you can catch them. So again, I am not, I, I'm not on here claiming to have all the answers. And by far, I've got more questions than I do answers. But I'm out here putting stuff in the water, trying to figure out what's going on seeing things that I don't understand um, that I'm going to try to figure out and I don't know that I can figure it out. The, the one thing that when I was first learning and watching all the tutorials is the ground meets up directly under the boat and there are things that mirror image and I can't explain that. But if, if the ground meets up directly under the boat how am I seeing boat docks in the water column and then my ground back up underneath the boat dock? That's a question that, that I don't understand. Um, I wanted to know for sure, and I came out here to prove it to myself on, because I had so many comments on the video that I posted on how I scan a marina to find fish so I can do a lot more catching and a lot less fishing. So I came out here today to prove, because I had, I had multiple comments that said, those fish really weren't that far. You have to subtract your water depth. And I'm going, okay, I don't believe that. So you're gonna, I'm gonna have to call me Missouri, the show me state, show me. That, that's what I'm all about, show me. Show me that they're really that far. How can I do that? And I thought, well, you know what? I got active target now before I didn't have that. So, and I got the range lines on it. So I'll know exactly how far they're away from where I touched the screen. They were in between the 40 and 50 range line mark. They weren't 18 feet away. That, that's what it was when I subtracted my water depth where it was. I think those fish are hanging right underneath that center wall. That, that's where I think. Put your range on, on side skin on 60 or 80 feet and trust that the distance is what it says it is. Don't don't take off the depth or take off for the depth and fish for them at that range and then fish for them at the other range. But here's the thing. I'm showing you guys this and I'm showing you ways that there's nothing that I'm doing that you can't go out on your boat with your sonar and do the exact same thing and 
and trust what you see on the sonar. Don't trust what I say or really what anybody else says. Prove it to yourself. You got to be able to trust that if you're marking a fish on this sonar and it says it's a certain distance away, that it's a certain distance away. Not that it's right there beside your boat when maybe it's really not right beside your boat. There may be a fish beside your boat, but as far as that big school, you may have seen a couple other fish that were in front of that school. It's kind of scattered out. Probably means that I could catch fish right there. Uh, that When I see those fish breaking away like that, that usually means they're chasing bait and I could catch fish. Unfortunately, I don't have time to fish. I came out here to put up a video for you guys to help you out. And if this does help you out, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe, uh, the little squirrel that's right over here. And also the, um, check out this video. Um, I'll, I'll post a video of me uh, scanning, well, this very same dock on how I scan it. And then there's, um, there's other videos on my channel of me actually catching fish. I mean, I actually do fish and I enjoy to fish. So thanks again. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Not an expert, not on here claiming to be an expert. I still don't know what all this stuff does, but I know this. It's an awesome piece of equipment and we're going to learn how to work it together.